All right, guys, so I was just uh, watching uh, Greg Porter's video, or a couple videos, Darren's videos. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's working night shift, so I just kind of woke up. But uh, this the uh, oil strainer in Volkswagen. Um, I've had a few, uh, obviously, different Volkswagens in my... Uh, in my past, and um, there's a couple I had when I was in high school, and um, with those oil strainers, I, I uh, whenever I'd uh, rebuild the engine or take the engine apart, um, I'd pretty much eliminate those. Uh, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't running stock um, engines, but um, and they weren't really super high performance engines either. But um, the oil strainer, like Darren was talking about, the oil strainer. Um, even, you know, for me, when I was looking at it, I'm not really a big, you know, expert on Volkswagens, but, um, the, the holes are so big that, you know, there's really nothing that it even catches. Um, I've never seen, you know, when I've pulled it out, I've never seen it actually catch anything. Um, you know, of course they have the, uh, I had the kind with the, uh, drain in the middle, uh, the cover with the drain in the middle, um, and it had a magnetic plug on it. Um, that was good, you know, I liked having that, uh, but uh, <coughs> I think my comment on Darren's video for the oil strainer was, you know, the only thing that it pretty much catches is, um, you know, the flies as you throw it in the garbage can. Um, so, Craig, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, I know you're going to be okay, you know. Um, you know, obviously Darren knows what he's doing, um, but, uh, and I'm sure you don't doubt that at all, I'm, you know, but... Um, Without that strain, you're, you'll be fine. Um, as far as the stud goes, pretty, you know, that's an easy fix. Um, uh, like Darren was talking about, put a helicoil in there or some, you know, whatever you want. And, and you probably are better at something like that than I am. Uh, so I don't think it should be a big problem for you. Um, you know, Volkswagen engines are really, uh, really resilient. Um, you know, I've seen them do a lot of crazy things. Um, I've driven Volkswagen engines. I drove it uh, when I was in high school. I drove mine for three days uh, to finish the school week on three cylinders uh, until the weekend, where I can uh, pull it apart. Uh, so I, had, you know, I had one dead cylinder that I blew up and uh, drove it that way for three days. So, um, and you know, of course, there's all kinds of Volkswagen stories people have, but I think it'd be all right, man. Uh, don't let it ruin your your week. Don't let it ruin your trip. Um, you know, obviously you want to be safe with that car uh, as far as, uh, you know, some of the Volkswagen's I had were just little junkers to drive around. You put a lot of work and a lot of time um, into that car, so you don't want to, uh, you don't want to mess around with it, I guess, you know, and don't want to take any chances, and I believe me, I understand that. That's a, you know, you got your heart and soul in that car. So anyway, um, I think you should be able to pull it off, man, and, uh, you know, you guys enjoy yourself down there. Um, I'll be up here watching and, and, uh, you know, should be good weather down there hopefully and enjoy yourselves, drink one for me and I'll talk to you guys later.